Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm going to begin today's show by talking about an amazing woman known as Pam Eden. Now, Pam spent 11 years here in Key West. She was cleaning houses and also taking care of animals in need. After her time here in Key West, she spent many years in Fort Ogden, Florida, homeless. During these rough years, Pam turned to her painting. She says that that kept her grounded and it also gave her purpose. Well, her paintings that she completed in Fort Ogden and also in Key West are on display right now at the Frangipani Art Gallery. The exhibit is entitled Reflections of Eden. Pam can't be here with us this morning, but her good friend and community activist Erica Biddle is joining me. Erica is the woman who made this exhibit possible. Erica, thank you so much for being on. Thank you for having me, and it's so easy to, to be here and speak about somebody uh, that you greatly admire. Mm -hmm. uh, because Pam even uh, used to be my neighbor on Olivia Street, and she was one of these uh, eccentric characters that made uh, Key West so fabulous, why you want to be there. Mm -hmm. She would walk down the street, and she always had an animal or two or three following her, mm -hmm. and she fed, of course, the cats, that, uh, the homeless cats, or the animals that were injured, that wouldn't, um, that would go, uh, if you would bring them to the shelter, I think at that point they were still uh, uh, putting them down, you know, like mm -hmm. a cat with three legs, or a dog with one eye, or a chicken without a beak, or, mm -hmm. you know, a uh, bird without a wing, so she always would collect everything that was injured. and. Um, and when and, and she was cleaning houses at the same time to make a living and pay her rent, and uh, she started. Um, she always had artistic uh, art in her, mm -hmm. that's for sure. But if you have to make a living in Key West, as you know, sometimes that has to go on the back burner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. So, okay, so you told me that she started doing the art in Key West, but then her art really took off, Erica, when she went to Fort Ogden. And in Fort Ogden, she spent so much time homeless. Well, what really happened was, um, um, it was um, a twofold thing. One is, it was just about that time in the end of the 19th, when uh, the 90s, um, last century, mm -hmm. when the rents really went up, the value of the real estate in, in, in Key West went up. So people were flipping houses, rents were exploding. And on the other hand, Pam was um, known as the woman that had too many animals in a small space. So, mm -hmm. um, so she more or less got notice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and she had to come up with something. And she couldn't really come up with something because when you, ha you know how hard it is to find a, a place when you have just one dog right, <laughs> or right. two cats or something. But Pam had a lot. I don't mm -hmm. dare to to say here how many, but too many. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so, and, and no place to go, basically. Mm -hmm. So a friend, a mutual friend of ours, Pam and mine, uh, Kenny, um, had a piece of land in Fort Ogden. Mm -hmm. Neither of us knew that the land was a palmetto swamp. So I assumed when Pam left in a U-Haul truck with all, uh, with all these animals in the back, I threw one of our tents I had a little Kmart tent, like a cheap tent that had gone cross country twice. I put that in there and said, if I ever visit Pam or you have a sick animal, here's an extra room and throw it in it. And then she left and uh, I didn't hear from her. Mm -hmm. Long time, uh, maybe eight months, maybe almost a year. And then uh, the, uh, I saw this guy, Kenny, and I said, uh, what happened to Pam? And he said, I don't know, uh, but I have to go up there, uh, some issue where he needed to go. And I said, I come with you. So I drive up there. I think it's about um, seven, seven and a half hour drive from here. And with the flashlight, we're looking along this, the road. And, um, and I said, where's the house? And he said, what house? <laughs> so I was so shocked mm -hmm. because it's full of mosquitoes. It's a palmetto swamp. You know, these mm -hmm. plants that really uh, are very uncomfortable to right. be and there's alligators in the swamp right and there she was in this tent with this no structure in with all these I mean wild so she was living in your tent Erica in Fort Ogden in the swamps with all of her animals right and then during this time she was painting the swamps 
I think um, it started a little later. In the, in the beginning, you have this idea, oh, I'm going to live off the land. Mm -hmm. And she is one of these people that always thought the one human family should be really embrace all critters, all mm -hmm. living critters. Mm -hmm. So she would rather um, live like the, with the animals mm -hmm. than abandon them. Mm -hmm. So she, uh, that was her family. This mm -hmm. was her family. Her mom had died, her dad. So the animals were her family. And so she thought, or we all thought, she can live off the land. Mm -hmm. And you can't, you know, this, right. there was no fields or something. So right. she had no running water, no electricity. I think that, uh, later on there was a structure, her first studio she called it, it was from found objects. Mm -hmm. And she painted and uh, on everything she could, on anything she could find. And one of the things, uh, probably she went to a thrift shop at some point and got all wallpaper. Mm -hmm. and, and painted and painted and painted. Wow. And now these paintings, you you and uh, Fran Decker, you've discovered these and they're up in display right now in the Fran Japani Art Gallery and they're absolutely beautiful, Erica. This woman was so talented. Uh, she still is mm -hmm. and I am so thrilled that you came because, you know, you invite people and make it a Facebook event and mm -hmm. people say, yeah, yeah, I'm coming, but ca you coming in mm -hmm. and actually loving it and mm -hmm. inviting me to talk about it, it's, uh, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So the show is on till the 17th mm -hmm. and um, then something else happened that was wonderful. Uh, I don't have time now, the leftovers of the show, hopefully everything gets sold, mm -hmm. but if not, uh, the paintings uh, are framed and uh, to bring them back, it's mm -hmm. a long drive. So um, Liz, Liz, uh, Liz uh, Young, the director from the Florida um, Keys Council of the Arts also mm -hmm. came, saw the show and offered to put it in the Gato building for the awesome. summer. So Good. one can still see them if you don't make it to the Frangipani Gallery. Wonderful. Well, I do recommend to everybody to stop by the Frangipani Art Gallery. Check out this woman's work. She's an amazing lady with an amazing story. And Erica, thank you for sharing it with us thank this morning. Thank you for morning. having me. <laughs> that was really wonderful. <laughs> All right, there is much more to come this morning, so please stay with me. I'm going to take a quick commercial break, but I'll be back with local author Mike Dennis after, the, after these messages. <laughs> 